One of the things that Our Lady asked the three children uh, during the apparitions was that they would pray the rosary daily. And why is it so important to pray the rosary daily? Well, Our Lady is pray, asking us to pray for peace, peace in the world. The apparitions took place in 1917 at the time of the Bolshevik Revolution, who was right after the First World War. Uh, there's the threat of communism, of course. And Our Lady is praying for the conversion of sinners, the conversion of the world, and the conversion of our hearts. And it takes time for us to be converted. We're not converted immediately. So she's asking us to pray the rosary each day so that we can pray with her and we can experience an ongoing conversion in our own lives. So this is something that I've been doing for many years and it's part of our Marian rule of life. We pray the rosary every day. One of the beautiful things that takes place here at the Basilica of uh, Our Lady of Fatima, it is a huge square here and in the middle of the square is the uh, Chapel of the Apparitions where Our Lady appeared to the three little children. We hear the bells calling us to prayer. Uh, and in that square, each night at 9.30 at night, there's the rosary. And during the pilgrimage season, there's a beautiful candlelight procession that takes place in, uh, throughout the piazza, throughout the square. And the rosary is prayed in all different languages, so you get the sense of the universal church. And, and the candlelight procession throughout the square is something to behold. The beautiful uh, singing of the song of Our Lady of Fatima. Uh, people taking their little handkerchiefs and waving as the statue goes by. And holding these candlelight, uh, these, these little candles in our hands, uh, symbolizing the light of Christ. And this whole square is lit up by this light. It's something to behold. And so you feel close to Our Lady. You feel like we're praying with her. We're fulfilling her request to pray the rosary daily. And we're doing it not on our own, but together as a church, as a community, as pilgrims from all over the world. So you really get a real sense of the universal church. So it's one, something to behold if you ever get a chance to come here to Fatima or to Lourdes to experience these candlelight processions, to pray with Our Lady and allow the prayer of the rosary to give us peace in our hearts so that we are converted as she wants us to be.